Here's an interesting headline in the New York Post. Biden's brother was hired to broker a secret $140 million Saudi deal when Joe was Veep. Docs reveal. Now, I want to commend the New York Post because they do great reporting uh, led by the uh, inimitable Miranda Devine on Hunter Biden, the Biden crime, crime family, all the various rackets from Ukraine to China and now Saudi Arabia. But this uh, latest headline is um, an article, but it it refers to the reporting of the Daily Mail. This is the Daily Mail in London. They apparently broke the story. And what is the story? Well, first of all, it's interesting that the story comes out uh, in a dispute between two parties that seem unrelated. One is a um, is a construction company that is called um, Hill, Hill International. And this company is f- having a fight with its lawyers and its lawyers are called Langford and Reed. Now, what is the fight about? Basically, Langford and Reed says the following. They say that the Hill International Company made a big, um, did a big deal in Saudi Arabia, did a, did a major construction project, were owed $140 million. But the Saudis evidently, for whatever reason, refused to pay. There was some problem or some argument. And so there was a negotiation going on between the lawyers, which is uh, Langford and Reed, and the Saudis about getting that money. And the lawyers thought that they had worked out that the Saudis would not pay the full amount. They'd pay $100 million. But suddenly, Hill International went silent and go, no, 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 let's just drop the whole matter. They kind of forgot about it. They acted as if to say they never got any money. And as it turns out, and this is really what Langford and Reed is alleging, Hill International thought of a different scheme. We know how to get this money out of the Saudis. We'll hire James Biden. And leveraging his relationship and, of course, his access to Joe Biden, who's the vice president, we'll get the Saudis to offer us a deal under the table. And then we won't have to split the money with our lawyers. Because evidently, Hill International had a deal with the law firm. It's called a 40% contingency, meaning if you can get $100 million out of them, you get to keep 40%. We get to keep 60. Well, Hill International figured out, as I say, a different route. At least this is what is alleged. And Hill International decided to use, well, let's call it the Biden route. And now uh, one of the uh, representatives of the law firm dropped in on James Biden and just talked to him about this, his involvement in this deal. And James Biden sort of fessed up. And he basically said, hey, listen, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I represented uh, Hill International. And he said that what happened is that the Saudis uh, decided to uh, offer the payment under the table, but they didn't pay all in cash. They basically decided, we'll give you a bunch of future business. So in other words, it's kind of like saying, I owe you money, but I'll pay it to you in a future contract. Let's make that deal now. That means that the money is sort of hidden. Uh, it's not uh, connected to this deal. It's now kind of smuggled into a future deal. Uh, as this fellow representing the law firm is leaving, he starts talking to James Biden's wife, whose name is Sarah. And according to his affidavit, he says, Sarah tells him, hey, listen, you know, my brother James and uh, my husband James and uh, Biden, Joe Biden, are very close, but they tell each other everything. They work on this stuff together. But Biden's not really happy when we talk about this. So she's kind of fessing up that that, J- that Joe Biden's denial. I don't know anything about my family business. I don't know anything about what Hunter Biden is doing is a big lie. Um, Joe Biden knows everything. In fact, he's in on these deals. He works them out with the family. The brothers and the son do his bidding. And then, as we know from other sources, the Hunter Biden laptop, Tony Bobulinski, they fork over a bunch of the money to Joe Biden. Or at least they pay him in kind by like paying his bills and other ways of getting him money without, quote, getting him money. So here you have a dispute between a construction firm, Hill International, and their lawyers. But inside of that, and this is a little bit of the the hard work that you do in investigative journalism, somebody at the Daily Mail pouring through this stuff realized, oh, wait a minute, there's a Biden connection. Uh, this guy is talking about the fact that this Hill International company was able to get away with not paying their lawyers by saying, oh, well, we never received any payments from the Saudis. 
but as it turns out, they probably did receive some payment, and they certainly got payment in the deferred form of future contracts that were part of this so-called settlement. So what we see here is the ongoing corruption of the Biden family. It's happening and happened all over the world. Joe Biden essentially, you, know, you sometimes wonder, how do these Democrats get into government? They're worth like $140,000, and then suddenly they're worth millions. Where do the millions come from? Well, it turns out that they become political entrepreneurs and they sell access. They sell access to power uh, and they know that the decisions made by political officials, by the way, spending taxpayer money, can be worth not just millions or hundreds of millions, but billions of dollars. This is why these countries and these companies are willing to make deals with the family members because they feel it's a pittance in terms of what we're actually going to get out of them. Joe Joe Biden, I think, is indisputably guilty of selling influence. He's corrupt. We've got a compromised fellow in the White House. And each of these stories coming out one on top of the other, which, by the way, the mainstream media very reluctant to report. Nevertheless, what these stories show is that this guy and this family is totally crooked.